I'm Jamie Bolt, Olympic silver medalist and former world champion, and I'm adopted. When I was um, 11 years old, I was watching Daley Thompson at the Olympics win the Olympic gold medal for the decathlon and going, that's my dad, because he looked a little bit like me, had a little afro, and obviously I didn't have a moustache at 11 years old, but uh, I really thought Daley Thompson for a little while was my father. So I'm going to see Gemma Williams for the first time today. Um, she's going to be seeing me through the adoption pro process. What if we do manage to trace her and actually she's not in any position to accept any form of contact? I'm willing to take that risk because I think, and we all know this, like my mother could have quite easily had an abortion. Yeah. And she didn't, um, with a mixed race kid in the 70s. And, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I just think, well, I, I really would like to say thank you. So there's only one key bit of information that I know that you're not already aware of. <laughs> she's seen emotions, yeah. like, I'm, like, I'm like, oh. Uh, and that's regarding your birth mother's name. Okay. So I've got her name for you today. So she was Teresa Ann Mills. So she informed the social worker that the baby would be half coloured and that the father was Jamaican. Um, he was serving in the army in Germany. She was reluctant for him to be involved in any way, mainly because she now had a new boyfriend um, and the new boyfriend had offered marriage, but felt that he could not accept the baby. It was an avalanche of information. The file said I was born at 5 a.m. in the morning, May the 3rd, 1973, five weeks premature, weighing just four pounds and five ounces. I was described as having light tanned appearance, medium brown hair and grey blue eyes. Well, we knew he had to get his legs beat from somewhere, so it had to come from one island, right, in the Caribbean, and it just happened to be Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I'm quick, you know what I mean? I had a phone call from Teresa. Cool. <laughs> so I asked her if she thought she'd know what it was regarding, um, and she said, is it regarding a little boy? Um, and I said, yes, can you tell me a little bit more? And she said, oh, my little boy called Jamie. So it was really clear that she was the Teresa we were looking for. You've got a half sister. <laughs> mm. Her name's Jaya. Um, there is something that you need to know about Teresa. Yeah. Um, and it's really difficult for me to share it with you. Um, Teresa's actually not particularly well. Um, she was diagnosed with lung cancer in March, um, and it is terminal. Yeah, it's a lot, lot to take on board and. She really felt that you needed to know that before you met her. I'm really sorry, no, Jamie. No. I just want to walk off if you don't. I'm really sorry. Can we, if we just stop? Well, this is it. Um, going to see my mum. I've said it all along with this program. I've always just wanted to say thank you, you know, because, you know, I, I wouldn't be here, would I? No. And uh, it, it means so much. So thank, thank you for doing the right thing. Yeah. And uh, I know that it's worked out for the best, you know? Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it did work out for the best, mm. Jamie. Mm. Mm. Bye, Jamie. Bye. Forty-one years, and uh, you get to meet your mother, you know. And you've got a half sister. Never, 